to allow sheet music lovers to appreciate the work of sheet music publishers, we offer them, in a few cycles of videos, to discover the wonderful story of innovation within the sheet music industry. The first cycle of videos will reveal the main lines of technical and technological evolution, namely innovation in the sheet music industry, from the beginning of printing. The first video is dedicated to the first of these innovations, it is the printing of music with removable characters in three operations. This technique is associated with the name of Ottaviano Petrucci. Petrucci was born in Italy, more precisely in Fossombrone in the Marsh, in 1466. His parents belonged to a family of the local nobility. During his youth, Petrucci was introduced to the liberal arts, at least in the trivium that is to say in the three arts of the time, grammar, rhetoric and dialectic. And obviously, part of his education was done at the court of the Duke of Urbino, Gidebaldo I. We also know that, in 1490, Petrucci settled in Venice, where he was a dominant printer on the emerging market of the sheet music industry, using removable characters. It was long believed that the first musical scores printed with removable characters were by Ottaviano Petrucci. Actually, a German printer, Ulrich Hans, had preceded him by printing, using this technique, songs for a missile entitled Mil Romanum, in 1476. However, it was Petrucci who strongly marked the spirits, at the beginning of the 16th century, in particular by printing an important collection in 1501 entitled Odhikadon. It is a collection of a hundred secular polyphonic songs. Petrucci's work led him to print more than 60 collections of sheet music. This is why he was honored by Leon X, Pope of his time, by the Senate of Veneto and by famous individuals, such as Francesco Marcolini D.A. Forlì a then-renowned typographer. However, after his disappearance, Petrucci fell into oblivion. However, what he brought to music books is as important as what Gutenberg brought to the rest of the texts. Petrucci was a technically significant innovator. Indeed, he obtained very interesting results for the time by practicing multiple printing. What does this process consist of? First the words were printed, then it was the staff's turn and finally, that of notes. Petrucci obtained results of great readability and great precision, all the elements in his scores were in the right place. Some competitors imitated Petrucci with more or less success, their works presenting notes out of line with the lines and therefore misleading music performers which, of course, had consequences on the quality of their performance. Furthermore, given the kind of collections that Petrucci chose to publish over time, we can say that he was also a businessman, willingly to meet the expectations of music lovers of his time, whatever their tastes. For instance, in 1503, he notably published Sacred Music by Joskin Despray, Masses, and Motets, and he widely disseminated the secular music of his time, which was the Renaissance, notably through a collection of pieces for lute and between 1504 and 1514, a dozen of books reuniting fraudole, a style of music then popular in Italy and which announced the form of the madrigal. As a businessman, Petrucci was attentive to the smallest detail, since he managed to obtain exclusivity for the printing and marketing of certain types of sheet music on the Venetian territory, between 1498 and 1518. These types were polyphonic singing, the lute and the organ. This exclusivity, this privilege, was applied so concretely that it included the fact that no one could import this type of sheet music into Venice. Petrucci had competition, notably in the person of Luca Antonio Giunta whose historians interested in printing have retained that he hired freelance typographers. There was also Andrea Antico, who had received the privilege of printing music books in the Papal States and who had robbed Petrucci of his exclusivity relating to sheet music for organ. In fact, Petrucci, despite its exclusive privilege to do so, 
did not print sheet music for organ on the Venetian territory, which was part of the pontifical states at the time, for that reason, the Pope simply transferred this privilege to Antico, adding a copyright for a period of ten years, a right which was not always respected, as reproductions of books printed by Antico were sometimes made without mentioning the original printer. Petrucci was the initiator of the sheet music industry and he is considered to be the first major publisher of polyphonic music. This of course served both education and private industry. For example, Fates, a renowned Belgian musicologist and music critic who lived in the 19th century, studied early music in scores printed by Petrucci. we can see, from that time on, competition was already very keen, however, ordinary printers could join forces at times. This was the case for Petrucci and Junta. Junta also partnered with Antico to publish the Libra Quindicum Mesarum, printed in Rome in 1516 and containing 15 masses. The creation of this book even required the collaboration of a third printer. Ottaviano Scotto. Antico edited the music and prepared wooden boards for printing. Juna printed a thousand copies and Scoto was responsible for selling them. Let us note here that Antico did not use removable characters and that the realization of wooden boards was laborious. In the case of this work, it had taken him three years, but as he was at the top of his art and as he worked with a Junta, a high-level printer, the result was of high quality. Furthermore, if printing with removable characters, well practiced, provided superior results, it could sometimes also lead to the printing of works of lower quality, when the editing of the music made beforehand was poor. This is the case for a certain number of works by Petrucci printed at Fossombrone during the few years he had returned there. But even so, the importance of Petrucci's contribution was real, because the use of removable characters to print music made it possible to distribute sheet music whose content had become more homogeneous. It places Petrucci's contribution on the same footing as the work produced previously, in the 9th century, during the standardization of the writing of Gregorian chant. This is why Petrucci was recently honored by specialists in computer-assisted music, who gave his name to a musical notation policy. In a video from a later cycle, we will maybe come back to one or another collection published by Petrucci, in connection with the musicians who composed its content. However, in the next video, we will discuss the innovation that followed the printing of music with removable characters in three operations. This innovation is the printing of music with removable characters in a single operation. See you soon on this channel. Meanwhile, as you are a sheet music industry professional, we would like to draw your attention to the existence of the Y Music search engine, which analyzes music using musical criteria based on the content of almost 40,000 pieces of music listed in the Y Music database. Today, music listeners listen to more music in a single year than their 17th century ancestors during their entire existence. However, Online music services ask their users to have a specific query in mind when entering keywords, such as a title. Due to these language limitations, there is a gap between listeners' expectations and what they receive, in terms of musical content. It is not enough to type the word inspiring to receive as the first search result a piece of music that will automatically inspire us. This is even more obvious in a general search engine. If a user writes, in the search box, what are musical pieces similar to the Rite of Spring by Stravinsky, the results include links to different interpretations of the title, pages devoted to Stravinsky's life or to his work. However, no title similar to the Rite of Spring at the musical level is mentioned directly in the results and no link to listen to this similar music is provided. Everything must still be done. Idem for your favorite music. This means that listeners do not receive an answer to their original question. Neither general search engines, 
nor streaming services, are programmed either to analyze the musical content of a title and provide the results to the user, or to establish direct musical relationships between different pieces of music. This is not their function, but it is the project of the Y Music team. We are passionate about our mission which is to create a technological innovation in the field of music which aims to help all music listeners to understand it in more depth. Developed by a computer engineer recognized for his expertise in the music software industry, Why Music is more than an algorithm that searches for chords or melodies, it is the first musical search engine in the full sense of the term. Together, let us reinforce the achievements of technological evolution in the field of sheet music and allow it, allow us, to go further in our research. We invite you to test Y Music on our website.